Welcome to part 5 of EVE 101, presented by CrossingZebras.com and the new EVE101.com. Today we will be looking at drones and how they pertain to EVE's gameplay. Drones are a sort of minion a player can dispatch to assist in various ways. This ranges from PvP, mining, and logistics, just to name a few. There are a large variety of drones that help serve specific needs, much like a ship. Storing drones in a ship takes up room in a specific cargo area called a drone bay. Not all ships have drone bays, and even if a ship does, it could vary between different ship types, making ships stand out more from one another. There are different types of drones, so let's look at them and what role they can provide. First, there are what we call combat drones. These are the most common types of drones that are deployed to attack a target. Within this category, there are six different types of combat drones. There are the light, medium, and heavy drones, which are intended to go and chase after a target. The light drones are faster but deal less damage. The heavy drones are slower but deal more damage, with medium drones being more of a middle range of sorts for this type. The second category are sentry drones, which are stationary drones that have a very long range. Then there are fighter and fighter bomber drones, which are the largest of the drone types and are used by capital and super capital ships. The second type of drone are electronic warfare drones, or EWAR drones for short. These drones impair a target ship by using different types of electronic warfare such as tracking disruption, energy neutralizers, and so forth. The third type of drone are the logistics drones. These are used to assist friendly ships and can be deployed to repair shields, armor, or hull. Not all logistics drones have to be used by logistics ships. Sometimes you can have a combat ship deploy logistics drones to help heal an ally. A ship using logistics drones cannot target themselves, however. The salvage and mining drones do what their name suggests and are most commonly seen by players not engaging in PvP. Using these different types of drones requires a player to already have the appropriate skills. The drones themselves are specialized in types of damage that they can inflict based off which in-game race created them. For example, Galenti drones primarily deal thermal damage to their targets, while the Kaldari do kinetic damage. Amar inflict electromagnetic or EM damage, while the Nimitar deal explosive damage. These attributes are universal across all the different combat drone types. Knowing what type of drone to launch against an enemy is something that a player must be mindful of. When a player launches their drone while in space, they will see their drone health in the drone window. Each drone, like a ship, has shield, armor, and hull states of its health. When those run out, the drone is dead. One thing a player must also be mindful of when they launch their drones is the distance from their ship the drone ends up. This is known as the drone control range. This distance allows drones to engage in their activity without being cut off from the ship's computer. Players can train certain skills to increase this range, allowing their drones to chase after a target further away from their ship. If a player warps away while their drones are active, the connectivity is broken and the player must reconnect to their drones if they return to the battlefield. Similar to other aspects of Eve's player ships, there are assisting modules a player can fit to maximize the effectiveness of their drones. These range across the four types of modules, high slots, mid slots, low slots, and rigs. That's it for this episode of Eve 101. It was a short one, but drones are an aspect of Eve that needed a video of their own. For more Eve 101 and other videos, please subscribe below, and don't forget to visit our new website, eve101.com, as well as crossingzebras.com for more articles and analysis of EVE Online.